everybody, Thomas Baderkin, Global Account Manager from Lenovo. Come on in here. So I talk a lot about technology. I figure anything, if it's got, uh, you can plug it in and you can, uh, it has a battery. It's a good fit for this uh, channel. So I'll talk a little bit about my car here uh, during these uh, COVID times. So this is a BMW i3 Rex model. Uh, it's the Rex means it has two options. It's got either a plug-in option back here, which I'm going to show you in a second. You can do uh, standard uh, 220 or the DC fast charge option in this car. And then it also has a, a tank in the front, a little two gallon tank up there to fill the um, engine, which there is a small engine in the back. Can't really see it. It's underneath here. And I guess it's actually just a little BMW um, motorcycle engine and the only point really for that engine is if you need it it charges the battery so it can't actually run off of that engine it just charges the battery so uh, as you look at it of course one really noticeable thing is these doors it's got the kind of side opening doors which uh, is a pretty cool looking feature I think honestly in parking lots it makes it a little bit tricky to get in and out with four people but uh, generally as a Works great. Uh, then in the front, of course, being that it's an electric car, it's got a front, no other engine in the front. Uh, so this is where I store the uh, one, uh, the 110 kind of normal charging cable, and it doesn't have a spare battery, so this is just a um, emergency fix a flat for the tire if it goes bad. Coming around the other side here, we'll, uh, check out the uh, other side of the BMW. Obviously same. Uh, you can go in, a quick drive, but uh, first thing I'm going to do is go show you how I charge it inside the uh, car, inside the house. So let's close this up. Uh, I'll jump in. You can follow me outside, and I'll pull up there, and we'll show you how I charge it every day. Obviously, there's no uh, no no engine sound, so it's going to be totally quiet. About the electric car is I never have to go to a gas station. This is actually my second electric car. We had a smart uh, ED electric drive before this that we leased, took that back, and then we bought this uh, BMW used. So this is where I keep my charger. You can see in the wall here it's got a standard uh, uh, 220 for like a dryer vent you might uh, use it for in your house. This charger I just got off of Walmart and then I just uh, plug this in see like this and uh, charges the car and gives you an estimate on the inside how long it's going to take to charge so love that feature about the car just a little bit about this car um, uh, one thing about electric vehicles other than Tesla's their resale value drops dramatically so buying this car new is maybe fifty thousand dollars but we were able to buy a three-year-old version of this almost in brand new shape I think it had 12,000 miles on it for twenty thousand dollars so huge drop in the resale value, great for me is buying a secondhand car, but uh, you know, tough if you're buying a new car other than a Tesla. But uh, I think that's it to show you the car. But now uh, let's go ahead and get inside. Um, we'll unplug it. We'll give it a quick, uh, quick tour. Joey, you want to hop in? So we'll start it up. Here we go. Just turns blue when it's ready to go. Back this out and then we'll give it a quick drive. So one thing I really like about electric cars is the instant torque. Uh, obviously there's no gears. So when you hit the pedal, commonly called the gas pedal, I guess, it just means, uh, it just means go and it goes fast. So even a car that isn't super um, horsepower rated, uh, is going to be fast because of this car I think I've heard a statistic that uh, this BMW is the fastest BMW 
zero to 30 miles an hour. You know, maybe an I-8 is a similar idea, but just because it's so fast for the first few miles, it makes it really fun when you're kind of stop and go traffic or to stop light. A lot of times when you re when it's really fun to, fun to go fast. So when you hit the gas pedal, it's fast, right? So it's hard to get a sense of that uh, just in the car, but uh, I really like the fact that uh, it's there when you need it. And then I don't know, Joe, if you can zoom in and show the how the gas works. So you can see the charge rating. It gets about 70 miles for the battery charge. And then the gas engine, it's got a two-gallon gas tank, gets you about another 70 miles. So total range for this car is 140 miles. But, of course, with a two-gallon gas tank, you can, um, you know, go as far as you want. But uh, one thing that this car has that, I really thought was going to be important is the Rex, which is the range extending feature. It turns out we hardly ever use it. It's very rare that you actually go more than 70 miles on a typical day. So you just drive it during the day, come home, plug it in. It takes uh, just a couple hours to recharge it on the fast charger and then we're ready for the next day. And uh, actually Lenovo, where I work, you may have seen this before, it has uh, charging built right into the um, parking lot uh, deck there at Lenovo. So um, that was it. I just kind of want to give you guys a quick tour of the uh, BMW i3. I like it. Seems like a great solution and a great price if you're going to buy it used. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll check you later. Bye.